Because what's up, everyone? It is your girl, JL Beauty 87 here, aka Grace. And today, we're going to get into disappointing holiday products from the past. So, I went through my collection and pulled out some holiday products that I had bought that I had put in worst of whatever year they came out. And I wanted to share like my thoughts. So, if you happen to see these holiday things on sale again or TJ Maxx or anywhere like that and you're interested in picking them up, I'm going to tell you personally why I didn't like them. And then you can decide if you want to buy them or not. Or, you know, it might encourage you to declutter them and freak yourself and put them on my card to get you some coins for this holiday's collection. So, that was the purpose of this just to like, you know, show you some stuff that I got for the holidays I wasn't necessarily crazy about. I actually have more than just eyeshadow palettes for once, so I'm going to get into some face products too. So, without further ado, girl, let's get into it. So, um, let's start off with this highlighter y'all should everybody should have known that this was gonna be here the pat and progress skin fetish sublime skin highlighter in the shade champagne gold honey <sighs> honey this is awful it weighs 50 pounds and it looks horrible on your skin like it's a streaky mess it doesn't really give any sort of glow or anything and i was like mother what are we but this was when the pandemic started or this was the year that the pandemic um well, yeah, the year pandemic started in 2020 is when this collection came out with this highlighter. And I feel like it just doesn't do anything. Like, it looks nice on the hand, but I feel like on the skin, it just sits on top of it. It doesn't melt in. It doesn't do anything. And it doesn't look good on someone of my skin tone. So, I just wasn't feeling this highlighter. I thought it was going to be, you know, like a true champagne gold that I could get down with. But she's, she's not giving. I'm not living the formula on this. Is not it. But if I remember correctly, this wasn't made in Italy. This was made, like... I think in the, oh this was made in Taiwan this was when her collection was made all over the um place that year I guess whoever could make whatever it was she was interested in making that year is who made it and you know it wasn't what we're used to because I definitely wasn't feeling that one so the next highlighter is actually the one from last year and this one was uh what does it say it was made in Italy, but it's just pressed too hard in the pan that's the problem with it I feel like it's pressed too hard in the pan with the embossment to make a good um to get a good lift on the brush at least personally for me that was the issue i had like rubbing it with my fingers is fine but i feel like when i rubbed it on my with my hands it was a lot plus it has like um chunks of glitter in it and i wasn't necessarily crazy about that so that's the new one on the bottom as you can see it works with my skin tone a lot better it's just like i didn't like the um because of the way it was embossed on the pan i used different types of brushes and i just felt like it didn't show up on the skin very well and then when it did it all i saw was lots of particles of glitter i know you can't see them from me swat putting my hand up but like it has particles of glitter in it like i can see it on my finger right now and i'm just like that's not necessarily the kind of highlighter that i personally like there's a time and place for that highlighter and i have some in my collection i really like but that just isn't one of them so i was disappointed by that part easily next we were all disappointed by this this is the patrick top major headlines blush palette volume two now um i just bought this honestly for the highlighter because when you see the inside you can be like girl what was you supposed to do with that see what what the hell was i supposed to do with this i just want to try this highlighter formula and see if it's going to be good because i was thinking maybe he'll come out with a highlighter later on this year and that's why he was testing it in the palette last year so i bought it honestly to try the highlighter because the blushes they were just not giving. And the highlighter I feel like looks somewhat nice. It's a little too light for my skin tone. As you can see it's kind of ashy and sparkly. It's giving more of the champagne gold than it is of the highlighter from last year. And it's not necessarily doing it for me. And I think it's one where you're supposed to put the cream on top of it. And the cream just looks really weird. It looks like a, like a weird balm type thing. And I just wasn't feeling this. I was like yeah no. Because the balm just feels kind of sticky to me. So it's like this clear sticky balm. I'm guessing you're supposed to put like on top of this. And I'm just like, with oily skin, it's just not giving. So overall, this disappointed me a lot. And the crazy thing is people ask for these lighter tones. So when he gave you the lighter tones, what were you complaining about? Because it's like he made adjustments based upon what his audience told him. And then it didn't work out. And then they didn't buy it. And then they were like giving this away in um when you bought a certain amount of his website. So that's how you know it wasn't. He needed to move that product out of there to pull in the next thing. And I feel like we haven't seen a lot from him since. Because I guess y'all made him mad by not purchasing this palette after you asked him to change it and he did because he could have made another one that worked better for tan and deeper skin tones like he did before and y'all used the lighter hand the way you did with the first one but you complained he gave you what you asked for and then you didn't buy it so Patrick's just like look he done y'all was out here playing games but he wasn't feeling it so I guess he just ran off into the sunset or whatever because I feel like we haven't seen too much of anything come from him really because y'all done made the man mad so I'm blaming y'all because uh, yeah, we, we clearly saw that palette was not for me at all. <laughs> so next I have this Makeup by Mario's Glam's 
quad so a glam quad in the shade rosy glam if y'all remember correctly i told you all in another video that this was going to be in this video because this brown shade right here did not work for my skin tone at all honey when i put this in the crease it gave off this weird undertone to it that i was not feeling at all and you gotta think this is the only matte i have to work with in this palette i keep it around because i do like the shimmer tones he chose but it's just like this matte doesn't work well on my skin tone it oxidized and turned into some weird color and since this is the only matte i have to work with i don't even have like an outer v matte to work with or anything it's just not giving enough for me to be able to do anything with it now i would pair it with the um i could pair it with the um bronzy glam one that he came out with but it's just like i had to that means i have to pay 50 dollars because these are 25 dollars a pop and i just didn't think it's worth it for that so i was disappointed in this but the other two in the collection are gorgeous we'll just get the other makeup by mario palette out of the way so next i have the ethereal eyes palette this one just doesn't work for my skin tone at all I bought it to try the formula and try these sparkly shades. But these sparkly shades kind of remind me of other stuff already in my collection. I did a whole video telling you all about this. I'm pretty sure this came out during the holiday last year. Don't quote me. But I feel like it did. So that's why I wanted to share it with you. Um, I don't know. The deepest tone here still didn't seem like it was that deep to me. When I tried it on my outer V, I had to build up quite a bit and still wasn't that deep. So I was just kind of like, hmm. Yeah. And then there's a whole bunch of light shades. So... I was disappointed by this product and because of its price point, I was definitely was upset. But you know, like I get to do videos like this so I could somewhat justify keeping it. But otherwise, girl, was like, no. If you look like me, girl, just don't buy it. No. Just go buy um, the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes one and, and you'll be fine. Or if you like all matte palettes, you could buy the matte version. This Auntie Jackie says that's good. I've never tried it because I don't care about neutral mattes. I just bought that to see how the shimmers would perform and see if it would work on some of my skin tone, to be perfectly honest. But let me go get a battery because it's blinking as usual and we got like five or six more pounds to talk about and then i'll be done okay 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 y'all so next i have this quad from mother it came from the same collection as that highlighter i swatched the hockey puck highlighter it's called the flora fantasia this is what it looks like on the inside i was disappointed in the shimmers in this mainly because it gives more of a satin effect it doesn't give like the um nice shimmery sparkly effect that we're used to or the shifting metallic like this shifting metallic is nice but this shade right here i was expecting to do more and it doesn't do that much i mean i've made nice looks with it and it's a time and place for it but because there's only this one matte that doesn't work that well with my skin tone you get this generic shade right here and then this shade right here is it all that it's like the quad isn't worth it just for this one shade right here like i've paired it with other pat mcgrath palettes like i said and i've made nice looks out of it but it's just like for what it is and the price she charges for these, I just felt like it wasn't worth it. So I was disappointed by it. And a lot of other Pat McGrath lovers were disappointed by the quality of it as well. If I remember correctly, this was one of the ones that wasn't made in... Yeah, see, this was made in the USA. But um, I feel like that's why I was disappointed by it. Because it was only one from that collection that was made in Italy. And I immediately like knew which one it was when I tried it out. As crazy as that is, just because the formula on it was different than the other ones. So the next one I have to talk about is the Marc Jacobs Cherific Palette. Now, if you all remember, he's supposed to be bringing his makeup brand back to Netta Porter. They had it posted on their page. And, you know, I was just like, oh, okay. But I was disappointed by this because it's like, you only have this one transition shade here. This sparkly, glittery shimmer isn't all that. And then a lot of these tones are just basic tones that I already have in my collection. So I was disappointed by this. Like, I wanted to like it more because I love the stiletto one. And then that one everybody found at TJ Maxx that was supposed to go with the coffee collection that never came out. You know, the caffeine eye foundation concealer thing or whatever. And then the um, blush bronzer or highlighter um, compact they came out with. That, they had a palette supposed to go with that. And the formula on that is really nice too. I don't know what's going on with this one, but I was just kind of disappointed in it. They had that giant gold highlighter to go with it, but I heard they changed the formula on that like two or three different times. The first one, the one I bought was the one with the good formula, and then the one after that came with this had didn't have the good formula. I skipped on it just because I was like, I already had the one from the year before that was literally the exact same color just gonna have like a giant cherry on the package, and I'm so glad I did because I heard they changed the formula of it yet again, and I'm like, look here. Mark, honey, let's have a coming to Jesus moment. What are, what are we doing? What what are we doing? Okay, so these are newer ones. And I told you all in the video, I wasn't necessarily crazy about them. One I like slightly a bit better than the other one. But at the end of the day, I don't really like either one of these too much. And the funny thing is the collection after this, I liked better than I like this collection. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know why. But these are the Pat McGrath, what are these called? The um, They're just called Eyeshadow Palette. 
in the shade Celestial, sorry, they call it the Celestial Nirvana Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Nude Allure and Bronze Bliss. Now, I like Bronze Bliss a little bit more than Nude Allure. And I figure you think I like Nude Allure more just because when it comes to neutrals, these are my type of neutrals. But I don't know what it was about this one. I feel like the shimmers didn't do that great a job. I feel like the satin matte shade was just okay. And it wasn't giving for what it was and the price that it cost because y'all know it's Pat McGrath so it costs a lot I felt like the one with the black in it bliss bronze, bronze bliss just did a little bit better a little bit more for me and it gave me that like kind of silver shade that I wish she had put in the dark star palette so I think that's why I like this one a little bit better because you got this satiny dark black so it's not giving too much smoke so I guess it could be like somewhat day appropriate if you're into that and you use like this nice little simple champagne shade in the daytime or maybe just use a nice bronze to kind of even it out so you can have a little bit of smoke but it's not like too much overpowering so i like this one better than i like new lore but both of them for the price that she charged for these i just felt like weren't worth it so that's what is a disappointing holiday product from holidays past for me the last I have to talk about, I feel like you shouldn't be surprised about these, is the Bad Zodiac sign or Bad Side Zodiac from Melt Cosmetics. I was not a fan of these two palettes in particular. The Earth one and the Water one is okay. The Fire one is even somewhat okay. But it's like these aren't my particular color stories. And for the price they charge for these, I just didn't think it was worth it. If y'all remember, I think these are $36 or $38 a piece. And I was like, honey, no. But I still got them because, you know, we're a Melt stand. So you judge me all you want. Um, so this is what fire looks like. If you didn't figure out, these are for the Aries, Leos, and Sagittarius's. Um, I'm not a warm tone person, so that's why it didn't speak to me. And then the air one is for the Gemini's, the Libras, and the Aquarius's. My dad is a Libra, random side note. But um, this is what it looks like. My shade is broken right here at the top. That's why I'm holding it the way I'm holding it. So let me hold it where you can actually see the color story. But yeah, that's what she looks like. And you think this one I would be somewhat interested in because it's got the pink purple vibe. But I don't know. I guess because I have so many of these exact same shades from them over and over again in different palettes. I was just kind of like, eh. Like, I wasn't impressed with these. Now, blues and greens and purples, y'all know I love. So I was going to be into the blue green once more than i was this just because but i don't know i just wasn't excited about this collection like i was disappointed when i saw what they came out with and a lot of the milk fans were it wasn't just me we were just like oh that that's it there's nothing else oh okay but those are all the palettes i had to talk about in today's video or all the holiday items i should say because they were just palettes for once um, you can comment down below and tell me if you agree or you disagree. Those were just the things that immediately came to my mind when it came to the holiday stuff I bought in the past that I was not a fan of. But um, I love to hear what holiday stuff you felt like you got jipped by. I think a lot of people going to be down in the comment section talking about the Too Faced holiday sets that they come out with because I heard the quality of those isn't that good. And the holiday sets from Tarte that they come out with, the quality isn't as good as their normal stuff. But I'm interested in what you have to say down below. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all the diamonds and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.